Do you need a better and more durable camera than your phone is? Then OM System TG7, the new Tough Series camera, can be the answer. Hi, it's Peter here, and let's get right into the business after the required disclaimer. This TG7 is not mine. I had a nice coffee session with the representative of OMDS here in Finland, and he gave me this for testing. I can use it for a week or so, and then I will return the camera. And as usual, they did not say what to do or say in this video, nor do they even know that I'm making the video. So all the things that I say are my own opinions. What are tough serious cameras? They are very durable action cams. Yes, you could say that they are action cams or they are very durable compact cameras. Com combat, not combat, but compact cameras. Well, yeah, you could use the combat too, maybe. It's very durable. And it can take a lot of abuse and you could say that they're action cams and they could replace GoPro or DJI action or similar action cams, even though they are slightly different. They are more like real cameras compared to the GoPro, for example. But you could, you know, replace your action camera with this one. And TG7 also has a whole system around it. It has a lot of interesting accessories, wide angle lens uh, adapters, such. And then one interesting thing is the new uh, lens hood, not lens hood, but the lens cap that is, you know, you just open it while clicking the, or turning the, the front of the lens, uh, lens cap. It's very handy. And then I think the most interesting thing is this little thing. This is called light guide. And I will show you later how excellent this is when you photographing macro. Yes, that is one of the most exciting features of this camera, but more about that later. And before we get into a little bit of the specs of the camera, let's look what's new compared to TG7, uh, I mean TG6. I'm a bit rusty this early morning that I'm making this before going out and do some photo shoots. It's too early for me, I guess. Enough of that. Well, TG7 has USB-C charging and then vertical video and time-lapse videos are new. And vertical video is, yes, of course, for social media because some people consume vertical videos quite a bit. And for YouTube Shorts, for example, when you're out there somewhere in the woods and needs to need to do a short video about your adventures, then it's it's a really handy thing. And then it can be triggered with the remote controller RMVR1, which is uh, compatible with many different other OM system cameras. Quite handy way of remotely, you know, uh, triggering the camera. You can use OiShare app too, but if you're out there, you might not want to take your phone out, you, you can just have this small little thing and trigger the camera. Ah, very handy. And then it has a new construction mode where you photograph in construction sites. And it's very handy for that because it is very durable, splash and dust proof. So no problem with the camera getting destroyed in, in construction sites because of dust or, or something like that. And other useful specs are Pro Capture, and it has built-in GPS and an electronic compass. So it's a very versatile tool if you're doing a lot of adventure things and want to photograph your, your adventures. And then the other specs. It can take 100 kilograms of pressure. So no matter if you step on it, doesn't matter. It will still work, no, no harm to the camera. And it can be used in very cold conditions. It says minus 10, but uh, I would suspect that it's a lot, lot colder because I've used regular OM system and Olympus cameras in, in minus 35 Celsius. And you know, the biggest problem has been <laughs> me getting cold and not the camera. And it can be dropped from 2.1 meters, which is about seven feet to a hard surface. And you know, it won't do any harm to the camera. And then you can dive 15 meters with it. And then there is an extra housing for diving, which I believe is capable of going all the way down to 45 meters, which is quite deep. And you probably want to know what the lens is. It is a full frame equivalent of 25 millimeters to 100 millimeters and the f-stop is 2.0 to 4.9. But there is no EVF so you have to use the back screen. For me, you know, a camera without EVF is not that convenient. But I can understand why they didn't have the EVF on this one because it would have made the construction a lot harder and one way of keeping the price reasonable. And about the usability, like I said, 
I prefer cameras with EVF, but I already explained why that is not a big problem on this particular camera and why they decided to do that. And the, of course, the biggest thing in usability is the durability of the camera. It doesn't break. You can, you can abuse it as much as you want. You will still have a camera that works very well. And that is, of course, the, the whole core thing of this. It is quite small, but it's okay to hold and fits into your pocket and, and all the you know, dials and knobs are in a good good position. There's nothing wrong with the usability and it's, it's quite similar to TG6. I didn't find any any big differences. I, I don't have the TG6 anymore, but if I remember correctly, it's, it's quite similar. And then the image quality, of course, is something that you might be interested in because, you know, it is an important part of a camera. I didn't have that much time to test this camera, but I didn't find any problems with the image quality and, and you've seen a few images made with this and here is some more. Nothing special about the photograph itself. It's merely just to show you what the image quality is. And then the interesting macro feature, which I think is one of the most exciting things on this. When you're using this light guide, you put it in front here and then you put it on macro mode and there is a LED light that will light the light guide like this. It's kind of like a ring, ring light around the, the lens. But the big thing is here is that you can stick the lens against the surface. The closest focusing distance is one centimeter from the back of the lens. So you can stick the, the, the camera to different surfaces and, and see what, the, for example, a wooden thing looks like when it's photographed really close. You would not believe how many holes there are in things that you think that are totally solid. But yeah, it's an interesting way to explore the world to a totally new way. And I've had a lot of fun with the TG6 back in the day when I had one for, for a few months to, to, to photograph and test. And then now with this one, unfortunately, a short time. But anyways, it was <laughs> a lot of fun to, to do these images and, and see what the world looks like from, I don't know, the eye of an ant or fly, maybe. I don't know if they can see this close. But anyway, you know what I mean. And, and you see the photographs. And then who is it for? Well, I would suggest that anybody who needs a very durable camera and go outdoors and do adventures and want to photograph underwater, maybe that's just the perfect, probably the best on the market, just out of the box underwater camera. And of course, this is very really good for kids. You don't have to worry about they drop the camera and, and you know, they can play around and have fun and, you know, even photograph <laughs> underwater and whatever they like to do and uh, play around with the cameras. They're very, create, very creative because they don't know the rules, what, what's proper things to, and how you are supposed to photograph. So it's it's a lot of fun learning creativity with the camera like this. And you don't have to, like I said, you don't have to worry about it, you know, smashing the camera at all. And then, you know, like I already said, in constructions might be a good, good camera. If you're building a house or you're a construction worker, this could be a great camera to record the, the progress of the building. And then the price and availability. At the time this video was made and published, the price is 549 euros slash dollars. So it's a quite reasonably priced camera and it will be delivered uh, from 20, 20th of September 2023. And if you're interested in the camera and want to get one, there's an affiliate link in the description for you to use. And as like always, you still pay the same price and I get a small commission and you support my free content on this channel. And if you want to see some more things about the, the, the tough cameras, here is my video about TG6 where I abuse the camera pretty heavily and you will really see how durable it is because this TG7 is as durable, if not even more durable than TG6. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.